Hey friends, today I am so excited because we are going to be staying at the Disney Treehouse Villas at Saratoga Springs. It has been a dream of mine to always stay here and today it's happening and I'm so excited to give you guys the grand tour and my overall experience at the resort. So let's go do this. Here is our treehouse for the night. Take a look at that. Isn't it amazing? Three bedrooms, three bedrooms. I feel so happy to be here. Like I said, it was a dream to stay here. I got myself a welcoming red balloon. We are in Treehouse 7020, and I think we're just gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna give you a grand tour and then come back down and show you all of the resort amenities. I feel so blessed staying here. Like I said, this is a dream come true for me. And just walking up these steps when I first got here, I was like kind of all giggly and butterfly-ish. And wait till you see like the patio and the deck that they have. Before we even get into our treehouse, they have an outdoor deck that is amazing. We just came up these stairs here and this is the deck and it's got some nice patio furniture and look at all of the wilderness around us. I can hear birds chirping. It's very, very quiet over here. Like, it's so quiet. I absolutely love it. A peaceful retreat, I say. I remember the first time that I found out Disney World has like treehouse hotels and I was like, wow, wouldn't it be so cool to stay there one day? And I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to do this. So like I said, I am so grateful and it's beyond my expectation. And <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm just really, really happy. I think we might as well go inside. I'm gonna give you a, a tour of the treehouse itself. Like I said, three bedrooms. Isn't that insane? Oops. There we go. Wait till you see this. Holy moly. Listen to the music. Just a quick rundown of the treehouse itself. That's the front door. We come on in and we have a dining room table. And these chairs are so heavy. I love it though. And then we got some chairs, a couch. That's definitely a pullout. And then another fancy chair there. These bar stools, the whole kitchen area. Like this is humongous. I absolutely am like kind of mesmerized. If you recall, I stayed at the Polynesian Bungalows on Christmas Eve and I feel like the Treehouse Villa is bigger and it definitely can sleep a lot more people. I previously said three bedrooms plus the sleeper sofa and I'm pretty sure that chair is a sleeper chair, but they also have bunk beds. Bunk beds, I say. Huh. How cool is that? I mean, it's just gonna be me staying here tonight, but I might actually wanna stay at the top bunk. You know, <laughs> look at the view. Look at this. Oh wow, this is amazing. You get to look down and you can park your car right at the Treehouse Villa, so you don't even have to drive anywhere. That's another amazing thing. It's kind of like the cabins at Fort Wilderness. <laughs> I can get used to this. This is really awesome. Oh, there's a little night light. Hold on. Woo! <laughs> and then in the bunk bed room, they have a crib, a basket, and some clothes hangers. I like the crib. It's very fancy. What is this? Oh, little tiny bed sheets. You got Goofy, Pluto, Mickey on them. I like it. Now I want to move along to the next room. It's right on the other side of here. And I think this one shares the bathroom with the master bedroom. I think there's only one bathroom. We'll find out though. But I love this one too. This one's just got a, like a regular queen size bed. I love it. The view is so nice. Like I said, you just get to look out your window and just see wilderness. So private over here, so secluded. You don't even see another tree house. And holy moly, I thought this was another closet, but it's an actual washer and dryer. Believe, imagine, hope, and dream. That's a really pretty painting in the room as well. And then I'm going to come over here and, well, that's just a mirror. But I think this is the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you got your own bathroom. So there's two bathrooms. What? I love it. This is so homey. Oh, wow. And it's a tub, I believe. Wow. 
everything about this treehouse building is amazing to me from the little tiny fixtures to the art on the walls it is all amazing look as we head back out to the kitchen even at the lock like that's the lock for the bathroom door how cool is that and then we come back out to the kitchen they have the island and it's got a dishwasher a toaster look at the cabinets all wood cabinets and then a full stove a full microwave we got a freezer and a fridge fully stocked the fact that the kitchen is a full kitchen you can cook dinners here and have dinner at the table but there is something way cooler outside because you get your own private grill you can cook out here so you know what we're doing later we're gonna have a disney cookout and i'm so excited for that like i've always dreamt of cooking out at disney i always wanted to stay at the cabins because i know you can get a grill there but i had no idea that you have your own grills at the trios villa so now i was like what because it is like a three bedroom uh, hotel room, it does come with a vacuum and even an ironing board. And I have to say the closet space in here is pretty impressive. I wanna show you the master bedroom though, cause this is the biggest room I've seen yet. It's got its own desk and TV. Look at how high the ceilings are in here. They go all the way up. The bed is amazing, a nice headboard. I can't wait to wake up with this view. Like, I just think this is amazing. And the best thing is the bathroom. I was like, are you kidding me? Look at this. Unbelievable, right? You got a jacuzzi tub over there and then a stand-up shower. I'm gonna go in here, cause we can go in here, look at this. So it's kind of like a stand-up shower jacuzzi room. I've never seen a bathroom like this. Look how fancy that faucet is. Really, really cool. Oh, stained glass. Kind of like a tree, too. Very nice touch. Now I'm going to take you for a walk around the premise a little bit. They have their own pool over here. So you have your own access. You don't have to go to the regular resort. This is a part of Saratoga Springs, but it has its own entrance. It has its own pool. You park at the treehouse itself. So, like, you ever, like, stay at a resort and you have to walk back to your car? You literally just walk down the steps and hit, like go into your car. I wouldn't even take buses, but they do have buses here just in case you don't have a car. And yeah, just give you a, a grand tour of the whole entire loop. Kind of reminds me of Fort Wilderness a little bit and you'll see why. Before we go walking around though, I am gonna have to grab two important things, a map and a beer. Look at this, isn't it so cool? I can't get over it. And here's the grill. Once we get down here, I'll give you a closer look. I just like walking down the steps. Right there, your own private grill. And a little balloon. Hey, friend. <laughs> so, we're gonna actually have a little cookout tonight. I'm gonna make myself a steak, maybe, and it's gonna be delicious. Let's take a look at the map a little bit. So, when you check in, they have to give you this kind of uh, direction to get here, because this is the check-in area, and then it tells you you have to drive all the way out to the exit, and then that's when you come over to the treehouse main entrance, which is over here. I am staying right there. We have a private pool over here, two bus stops, and then this is the rest of Saratoga Springs. They don't have any sit-down restaurants at the moment. They do have a quick service, but like I said, we're gonna be cooking out later anyway, and that's probably way better. We're gonna put our mask on because we are gonna be walking around some common areas, including the pool area, but I wanna show you the coolest thing I think I've noticed so far, and it's kinda of sad because they're not utilizing it at the moment, but if they were, I would be so amazed. Obviously, you see this is our room number 7020. This is our tree house. Right across the way, there's a pathway to a boat dock. Now, this used to be one of the resort boat launches, but they're not doing those boat uh, resort launches anymore. So now it's just kind of sitting over here. But can you imagine just walking out of your room and then catching the boat? Like, that's amazing, right? At one time, that's how it was. Hopefully, the boats come back soon. But, oh, man, I would be so happy. A little sign here saying, you never know what you'll find in the wetland. I like how they have little tiny uh, mouse ears there. We got butterflies, bats, alligators, robins. Very, very cool. I love it here. Look, right there's the water. Like, it's amazing. 
I wish that we can actually do this. This is the Sasogula River, I believe. I might be wrong on the name of that, but this boat used to go all the way to Disney Springs, over to Port Orleans in French Quarter. That's not open now. It's one of the best boat rides on property, I have to say. I miss the boat rides here because that was something free that you could do. You know, you didn't have to have a day ticket. You can just show up and ride the boats all around Walt Disney World. Some boats still run, but they're direct uh, boat routes. So if you're staying at, like, for instance, uh, the Grand Floridian, the boat from the Grand Floridian goes straight to the Magic Kingdom. It doesn't go to the other resorts like it used to. And uh, I miss it. I miss it a lot. Look how peaceful it is. This is our walkway from our treehouse. And then this is the main road where you're... You drive your car. Ooh, got a little goat cart coming our way. A club car, eh? The pool is over here, so these treehouse villas would be really awesome. 7058, real quick access to the pool. Look at this walkway, though. I'm so happy to be here. Like, I am, like, almost giddy. <laughs> you guys see what I'm talking about, though. It reminds me of uh, Fort Wilderness so much. I love it. It's, like, beyond expectation. These are the bus stops to actually go to the park. They got little soda machines, sanitizer. I really like it. And then in here you got a little telephone with the directory, emergency, massage and health club, front desk. <laughs> you can also walk to Saratoga Springs. Right there's the pathway. We'll probably explore that a little bit later on, but the pool's up here, so I wanna check that out right now. Here is the pool area. And it's not like the biggest pool, but it is like a private pool. Oh, I love, they have like a little tiny fountain here with frogs. This is really, really awesome. <laughs> I like it. I like the fact that nobody's here. It's so secluded. They also have restrooms, a vending machine, some nice chairs. Oh, and then over here, a hot tub. Your own private hot tub. You gotta be kidding me. That is amazing. While we have some daylight and before we go back to the house, I am gonna actually take a walk because on the way in, I'm pretty sure I seen Port Orleans. And as you guys know, Port Orleans is closed. It hasn't reopened since the pandemic. And I would love to be able to see it. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll explore a little bit. Walking through here, you can see some of the tree houses are really in the woods there. Look at that one back there. Our journeys took us all the way out here to the front entrance of the Treehouse Villas. Right across from us is the Lake Buena Vista uh, golf course, and right over there is Port Orleans. So we're gonna see if we can get a little sneak peek. Wow, this is so beautiful. I've actually played this course a couple of times with Josh and Taylor, and I've, I was fairly new to golf before, but uh, now I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I, I think I do pretty well for myself. I don't know, they think I'm still uh, below amateur rank, but I have fun, and that's all that matters. Look at how beautiful it is over here. It's just about a five minute walk from the treehouse itself. And they have a little sign right there. And this is the, the boats. So where you seen the boat dock before, this one is telling you to go left to Port Orleans. And right beyond that riverbank is Port Orleans French Quarter. It's the first time I've been able to see it since over a year ago. To me, I think it is really awesome just to be able to see Port Orleans, especially French Quarter, because that was one of my favorite resorts. And like literally, Treehouse Villas, Port Orleans, right next to each other. I had no idea. Another thing that's really cool to point out, some of the Treehouse Villas have a handicap ramp, so you can actually take your ECV or wheelchair and just drive right up. And it's really nice, look at this. This goes up to one of the more accessible rooms and they have stairs as well, but I think that's amazing. Now I'm back at my tree house and tomorrow I think we're gonna walk over to the check-in area and have breakfast at the quick service. I think it would be nice to see what the walk is like and then maybe take the bus from the check-in area back over here to the treehouse villas. And now I think we're gonna start cooking up our food on the grill, do a little Disney grilling. I ordered some groceries from an online delivery services. You can use Instacart or through Publix. I think these came from Winn-Dixie and we got s'mores for later on tonight. I'm so excited. Then we got some hot dogs and we got some matches and also some peppers and onions. I like that that we got mild and then also a pepper and onion flavored sausage. They were two for seven, so that's a good deal. 
I ended up getting a lot of food. I don't know why I got this much food, but I'm excited for s'mores. I am super proud of Disney because you would expect to have a clean, clean grill so that you can do your grilling. Because usually when you see grills like this, they're a little bit dirty and it's clean. Like they literally clean it. And I think that's amazing because any place I've ever stayed at other than Disney that had an outdoor grilling area, it's always dirty. But this one, I feel like I can just throw it on there and start. I got my charcoals all ready to go. I do suggest if you have a preference, uh, these are instant light ones. So if you do have a preference, do your own shopping before you come here. Don't order through the Instacart or the Publix delivery because you're gonna get whatever they can give you. And I got these ones, but it'll do, it'll work. So let's see, we'll do a little bit there, a little bit of there, a little bit of there. Oh yeah, spread the love. Yep. Oh. I have been wanting to cook out for such a long time. This is amazing. I am so full of joy right now. I love the smell. <laughs> this is what this is going to be one of my greatest Disney memories. While these bad boys are burning, we're going to start setting up our peppers and onions. We got our peppers and onions on there, a little bit of butter. Oh yeah, these babies are going to be nice. Oh, much too good. I forgot to order salt and pepper, which is a shame because I definitely would have liked to put a little seasoning on the peppers and onions. But now, the sausages. Very, very nice. We'll set them right there. Things are looking good, or they're looking hot. Little bit of the secret sauce, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, mix the peppers and onions around a little bit. They're getting real good. Sausages are ready for their quarter turn here. Now that we got a nice little char on the peppers and onions, we're gonna fold these bad boys right up. And just like that, and right down here. Oh yeah. That's the way. The sun is starting to set and I'm just having a great time grilling on the grill. I switched up to a land shark, got a little fancy today. And I do like land shark, but light's just convenient, you know? I do love Bud Light though. Now we're gonna grill up our buns. Oh yeah, get some butter right on there. Now we're gonna turn our sausages. Look at those bad boys. Oh, this is gonna be much too good. I'm, I'm so excited. Look at those coals under there. Things are really starting to look good. And the peppers and onions are probably perfect in there. I love once I unwrap them a little bit. I constantly turn them around a little bit because you know you want an even cook. But once you like open up that tin foil, it's just gonna be such an amazing smell. Another cool amenity is they have plates and silverware and all the utensils you need all inside the treehouse villas so we're not going to be in any paper plates or plastic plates even though i feel like that's more outdoorsy the buns are nice and toasted so we can transfer over some sausages get them all in there even though these buns seem like a little bit too big but you know bakers can't be choosers we'll set them over there then we're going to pull out our peppers and onions oh yeah this is what i was talking about before i'm gonna try to do this one-handed oh look at those that's the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can smell them. That's good. That is what I'm talking about. Right on there. I changed out of my clothes, cleaned up a little bit. You definitely don't want to leave a mess because that's one thing you have to be careful with cooking out in the woods is, you know, you know, wildlife and stuff like that. So we cleaned up our area there. I am joined up with a friend. That's why I had so much food. You guys were probably thinking, wow, is he going to eat all that food? But I do uh, actually have some friends hanging out. And uh, yeah, now we're just going to enjoy sausage and peppers and hot dogs on the balcony at the treehouse finished product looks perfect and i like how they have little treehouse chairs oh man this is too good i think i did pretty good got a nice little crunchy bread look at that oh yeah the peppers and onions are perfect the sausage is on point now to dig in
that is just so so good i'm housing it i love it my own cooking huh who would have known now that we're all finished with dinner which was fantastic it was so fun just grilling out here like i have been wanting to grill for such a long time i know i said that before but i've really been wanting to do it and doing it at disney it's amazing so i think we'll watch the sunset i mean this is beautiful and i asked if we can hang out on the dock and they said yeah you can go down there as long as it says uh, no trespassing or it says do not enter and technically it doesn't say any of that so we'll go hang out there watch the sunset and then come back make some s'mores because that's like a, an essential thing and just enjoy the night. I figured it would be a really good spot to watch the sunset from here. It looks like it's beautiful. Oh yeah. This is gonna be very, very nice. Look at that, isn't it just so beautiful? I know you can't see it too well, but just hanging out here and just watching the sunset I absolutely love it. This is peaceful and beautiful. And at one time, the boats used to run right through here. It would pick you up and take you to Disney Springs or to Port Orleans French Quarter. I really, really do miss this boat ride. It was such a relaxing stroll around Walt Disney World Resort. You might say that the true life adventures began with a little deer named Bambi. Walt Disney had purchased some film of a fawn in its natural state for his animators to study for their Bambi animation. But Walt saw something else. One thing has always led to another here, and Bambi was no exception. The wildlife scenes in this research yielded an unexpected dividend. An idea for a new motion picture series we called the True Life Adventure. Now that we're back in the treehouse, before we have s'mores, I think I'm gonna go hang out by the pool, maybe stick my feet in the jacuzzi. One of the things I really not explored when I ever came to the resorts or stayed here was the pools because I was always busy either going to the parks or just showing you guys around, but I also like how this one is kind of like a private pool, so I like it a little bit more, so we're gonna check it out. I like how they have these little night lights on the deck here. Wow, it's so beautiful at night here so magical this is gonna be great the pathways are well lit too so you don't have to worry about kind of walking around in the dark and the pool is only just like like one pathway over oh yeah i like it this is a really really nice pool very quiet very relaxing i think it's four feet ten inches not too shabby that's the highest yeah that's the highest it goes four feet ten inches and i just like how it's so quiet over here nobody's here it's like a private pool <laughs> Stick my feet in a little bit. Nice, I like it. <laughs> that was a good swim. I actually really, really enjoyed this pool. The hot tub's a little bit busy, but I do plan on actually sitting in there for a little bit once it clears out. But this is nice. This is so cool. I love the pool, but you know what I love more? I love s'mores. So we're gonna head back to the treehouse, light up the fire, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Now I'm back in the room. It's completely dark out. I like how the lights like don't shine in at all. Like you're high enough that all the lights that are on the street there, you don't see any of it. Like you can see right out this window and it's just trees up there and the reflection inside, but nothing else. Now we got to grab our s'more kit. I didn't know what to order because they didn't have like s'more sticks. I was just going to use a twig, but I got these uh, bamboo skewers because I seen they were on the, the uh, shopping app. And I think that'll work. That'll do. I can't believe the coals from when we cooked out are still hot, but we don't want to add any more coals on there. So I'm going to switch to wood. Oh, there we go. Add a little pine cone in there and that's working pretty well. It's, it's, it's sending off a good smell though. I do like it. It's so nice. I came out of the pool, I didn't even dry. We're actually drying off from the fire and it's just, it's really relaxing. I got my little skewer ready to stick a little marshmallow on there. Bloop, zoop. Perfect. There we go. 
<laughs> this is good. I love it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Just the way I like it. I'm going in here. I got it all combined. <laughs> there is literally a bat right above us. It's kind of scary, but there he is. I don't know what to do at this point. What do we do? Uh oh. He's moving around. Look at this. The fire is slowly dying. Oh, the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbying. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to yell at me for lighting the fire, like the marshmallows on fire, and she used to try to get her marshmallows perfectly brown like that. Well, mom's not here, so I'll make it any way I want. I thought it was going to slide down, but it didn't happen. There we go. Well, the fire eventually died out and I brought everything back inside. So maybe I'll just hang out, watch some uh, must do Disney and just relax. I love this setup right here. Like this is really nice. This is a good, good spot. Very cozy. Also a big hidden Mickey right here. And I like it. That's really nifty. I'm not too sure where to sit though, because Everywhere it looks comfortable. All right, this is good. And it's important to have comfy seating arrangements, especially after a long day at the parks. I can chill out here. I like this one. Okay, this is good too. <laughs> Definitely very relaxing and plenty of space. But I guarantee that chair is gonna be my favorite. I already know. Yep, this is the one, the silver tuna. Now I think it's time to go to bed and then we're gonna wake up tomorrow and continue our day. We're gonna head on over to Saratoga Springs. We're gonna get some breakfast over there and just continue our adventures. But uh, yeah, I need to get some rest and I'm excited because I had so much fun. So I checked in here at four o'clock and this whole video has been basically from four to 10. So six hours, I feel like I've been here for weeks. That's how like, that's how homey and inviting it is. I feel like I've stayed here for years. Anyways, it's time to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. Always close your blinds before you go to sleep because that is bright. Time to get some coffee. Wow, I love waking up to this. Look at this. What a view. Oh, so amazing. Coffee's gonna be great. Good old Joffrey's. I said it last night before I went to bed. But you know what I did forget? No French vanilla creamer. Oi, oi, oi. I remember I was telling you guys before that the kitchen is like fully stocked. I mean, look at all those coffee mugs, those glasses. Down here we have pots, pans, strainers, fancy silverware. I pointed out the wine glasses, plates, everything. I mean, you know, I, had, I, I brought my own stuff to grill out with, but I didn't even need to. Like they had all of it ready here. It just blows my mind. I was like, wow. Ooh, Scott. So we're going to use the fancy cups. Oh, perfect. Not a big fan of this stuff, though. Ugh. I think I'll take my coffee and sit on the deck. It's so beautiful outside today. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day. Oh, yeah, this is a good idea. So peaceful out here. I love it. Once we get all coffeeed up, we're gonna head on over to Saratoga Springs and get some breakfast. I see they have a bounty platter. So maybe some breakfast potatoes, some Mickey waffles, bacon, sausage, the works, you know. 
but I'm loving my coffee out here. This is great. Such a relaxed atmosphere. I can't tell you right now which one I like better. I think, you know, the Polynesian bungalow is probably the best so far because it's kind of like just waking up and seeing that castle. Like, waking up and having coffee on the, the back porch of the uh, bungalow is probably my greatest memory. I mean, tonight was great. Like, I, I loved, uh, I mean, last night was great. I, I loved cooking out. I loved having s'mores and staying in the, the woods. But, yeah, can't beat the Polynesian bungalow. Now it's time we head out and get some breakfast. I just like walking through here, especially in the morning. I wish I woke up and did like a sunrise video, but there's no way I could do any sunrises because we're surrounded by trees. So there's no flat land, so I wouldn't be able to catch anything. I was gonna walk on over to Saratoga Springs, but I think I'll drive over because all we're gonna do is pick up breakfast and then bring it back here. Uh, I really like just hanging out in there. So I think I would wanna spend more time inside the treehouse before I have to check out. Why does Disney make you check out 11 a.m.? Why can't we stay till like 8 p.m.? That would be much better. I think I told you guys before about the exit in French Quarter and there it is over there. Now we are over in the main check-in area. I love all of the different statues and carriages they have here. They used to do horse carriage rides here, but I don't think they're doing that anymore. But isn't that beautiful? The music is very, very classy here. I like it a lot. The quick service is the Artisan Point and that's inside the carriage house. So we'll walk through there. Ooh, I got my Disneyland mask on. Kind of reminds me of the boardwalk a little bit in here, like with the decor and the artwork. I mean, I know that it's off of Saratoga Springs in New York, and the reason that it exists now is because Eisner's wife used to love to vacation at Saratoga Springs, so he decided to make a little DVC place. And of course, it being Saratoga Springs, they have artwork from all the horses of Disney. Buck. Bullseye, the Snow White horse, Cinderella horse, Mulan's, Samson from Sleeping Beauty, and then even Philippe, Beauty and the Beast. It is so beautiful in here and elegant. Like I said, gives me a lot of the boardwalk vibes. Maybe because of the carousels. You know what I mean? That, that kind of just goes hand in hand with the uh, boardwalk and here. And here is the artist palette. This is the quick service. I placed my mobile order. I'm just gonna wait for them to let me know when it's available. And I'm excited because I got a little bit of Mickey waffles, a little bit of uh, bacon, a little bit of sausage, a little bit of breakfast potatoes, all the works. While we wait, I wanna show you guys the turf club area. Now this is where the sit down restaurant used to be. And they kind of have like a lounge over here and a pool table. I like it a lot over here. Oh no, the pool table's gone. It's kind of just like an extended dining area for uh, the quick service. I really want to eat here. I never have. And I've come here to like check in for golf. And I always said I'm coming back and getting the prime rib. But looks like it's not open. Menus are here though. We can take a look, seeing what they had to offer back in the day. Yeah, right there. The Rancher's Reserve Prime Rib. That's what I wanted to come back and get. Looks like even though the restaurant isn't open, you can still get things from the lounge menu like tempura fried shrimp tacos, the turf burger, house made cheese pizza, and house cut french fries. So that's good to know. Oh yeah, look at that. We got the coffee, the orange juice, the Mickey waffles, the bacon, the sausage, the potatoes, all the works. Now we gotta head back over to the Treehouse Villas. Look how nice it is here. Isn't it amazing? I love it. Now we're back at the treehouse and I wanna sit at the bar and I was thinking, I think I wanna eat on the fancy plates, you know? I know they package everything to go, uh, but uh, I got those fancy dishes, might as well use them. I guess first things first, the bacon. Oh yeah. Perfect. And then the sausage. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Perfect. Now all we need is the syrup. We got a little one packet of syrup. Well, it's only two Mickey waffles. And then some OJ. That is a good breakfast. I like it. I definitely think we could have used another thing of syrup. But 
I want to get it all on there. I like syrup on the potatoes too. Anybody else like that? I don't know why. I think one time the uh, syrup just ran into potatoes and I ate it that way and I was like, wow, that tastes good. So now I just kind of always put the syrup all over the plate. Mickey ears first, always. <laughs> Take a little Mickey ear and then a little potato. Oh, I need to shake up my orange juice. It's got one part, it's got a pull top. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, Mickey ears first and the so uh, potato. I don't care what you say. You can't duplicate Mickey waffles. You can't. I mean, you can buy the iron, you can buy the exact batter, but it never tastes the same outside of Disney. There's something special. I love eating breakfast here at the counter or at the like Kitchen Island. It's really, really nice. I could spend a lot of time here. So like if I vacationed, I would want to stay at one of these villas like this. Just so you can have the full kitchen and stuff like that, especially like I said with a big family and the washer and dryer. That's a big, big deal. Big, big deal. And now that breakfast is done, I think we are done here today. I had so much fun staying here. It really was such a magical experience and I'm so grateful that I can make these videos. Uh, thank you to the Ozium family. They're the ones that actually gave me this day here so that I can make a video and you know, bring you guys some entertainment and also maybe help you plan a visit if you come and wanna stay at the Treehouse Villas. I know I'm not very informal and I can't really, you know, go over details with like certain things, but I wanna like share my experience and how I enjoyed it. That's like the most important thing always a positive outlook on things because I make the best of what you got always you know what I mean if it's in the parks if it's at a resort I try to have the best time always so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye